Hey y'all, Taylor here from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a peek inside my planner for May 2017. So basically with these videos, I walk you through my spreads for the month and tell you a little bit about my thoughts on how they turned out and uh, kind of reference the stickers that I used and just give you kind of an update on what I thought about them. So let's get into this. This is the first week. There are four spreads this month, by the way and I love all of them for different reasons. So this is the first one. This is May 1st through May 7th. And this was Teacher Appreciation Week and it was one of our last weeks of school. And I used this kit from Wild Summer Designs and it is one of my favorite spreads I think I've ever done. I used the mini kit because her mini kits are perfect for white space planners like myself. And I also used a lot of different stickers from different shops. So let me go from, um, Monday through Sunday and kind of walk you through this. Um, on the sidebar, I used these little meal trackers or labels from Four Daisies Designs. And they come in a big sheet and I like them because they're in all different colors and I can always match them to my spread. Okay, for Monday, this is from Carolina's Crafts. I love these little iPads. I hope she carries them forever because I love them for tracking uh, when I'm using iPads and when I need to charge them and all of that for school. Um, this is from the kit. This is these little, um, little, what do you call those? The little icons. These are from Sticker Oki. And a lot of this is from the kit. So this is from Lynn's Planner. All these half boxes that I used are from the kit. Um, these are from the kit. These little, the calculator and the pencil are from a sheet from Nikki Plus 3 and it's all school stuff. I'll show you some more that I had got from that sheet as well. This is all from the kit. Again, Lenny's Planner for my fitness stickers. Love them. Um, I incorporated a few more checklists in my May spreads. They're kind of hard to use because the lines in the hourly, which I love to use the lines, they don't always line up with um, checklists. But I have found that if you cut them down to three, you can pretty much make it work. Like see here, it's a little bit high for the line, but it still works. So I will cut these down pretty much all month. I will cut them down and use them like that. Okay, so Wednesday I used a half box here or a full box because I had the room to separate my school from my home stuff. Handmade style, I've been marking because on Hulu with this particular show, They've been um, putting up episodes weekly instead of all at once, and I adore this show. It's scary, and it's sad, and it's intense, but I am digging it, and I can't miss watching it every Wednesday night. So I had to put that in there. Cleaning list like usual. And then over here on Thursday, this highlighter is from Oh Hey Sticker Co. And it was on a sheet of school stuff. You see a theme here with what I buy for stickers. And then I used, I flipped this half box and used it vertically and marked the Erin Condren launch even though I did order on the Planner Peak day. And this is all from the kit except for that, Linnea's Planner. And then I cut down a full box and added some deco to this one. And the rest is from the kit. This is from Carolina's Crafts to remind me to mow my yard and do my yard work. Um, this is from Oh Hey Sticker, no, Oh Hello Stationery Co. That's right. And this is from Fox and Pip. So got a lot of use out of this mini kit. Every time that I use her mini kits, I do. And that's why I continue to repurchase them. I'll show you another one at the end of, mo end of the month that I also used that I loved. Okay, then we have May 8th through May 14th, which was Mother's Day, also my mom's birthday. So I wanted to use a pretty kit and this one kind of gave me a break from the pastel colors of April and Easter and all of that. So I kind of wanted to revisit that for these events, but in kind of a softer way. And I loved this kit. This is from Glam Planner and it's called the Gatsby Glitz Kit. And I don't think it's available unless you go to the Buy Sell Trade Group and you can get it there. Um, I use a lot of this kit. I try to use as much as possible because her kits are expensive and I have to get my use out of them to make it worth it. So I do have some leftovers. I plan on using in other spreads, but 
this kit was gorgeous um, this is all from the kit this is from Carolina's crafts of course and Linnea's planner like all my fitness stickers are but all of this is from the kit um, this is from Fox and Pip a sampler that I got with the recent order so what I did here was I dropped off my planner at Office Max and had them split it into two parts and then recoil the two parts. So this is not my Erin Condren coil anymore. As you can see, it's very flimsy. It does have metal in it, so it's like sturdy, but it's flimsy. And I can deal with it. It's not my favorite, but I can deal with it for another month. And I don't know if I'll do this again. I'm gonna have to really think about it next year about how to deal with my full coil. Anyway, this full box, I messed up one from the kit, so I grabbed this one from Nikki Plus 3 to use for that. This is also from Nikki Plus 3. And these two little icons are from Flocks and Cactus, and this is from Nikki Plus 3 as well. I just love how this turned out. I used these two um, circle stickers from an order of ESC circle stickers, like photo stickers. I keep meaning to use them more, so I thought this was a perfect week to plug those in and love how that turned out. Very cute. Oh, this is also from Fox and Cactus. Okay, this is May 15th through May 21st, and this was a very busy week. We had the end of school, graduation, and it was my birthday, so lots going on here. This kit is from GP Sticker Studios, and it's the old birthday kit, um, which you can no longer get but she said that she's going to be coming out with another one soon. So keep an eye out for that because I love her style and her kits. This was the first kit that I used with vinyl stickers, which I won't be ordering again, but they are very vibrant and pretty. Okay, so starting over here, this is from, this is just a full box that I cut down with a Happy Planner sticker. This is all from the kit. This is from Heidi Swap. And this is, of course, from Linnea's Planner. And then the rest is from the kit. Fox and Cactus here. Nikki plus three here, also here. And there's another one somewhere. Maybe not. Oh, here. Those are all from that same sheet that I got with the calculator and the pencil. So it's very versatile for me, being a teacher. And this is all from the kit, except for this was from that same sampler that I got the little planner from Fox and Pip. And then the, these are happy planner stickers. I did have room for a full box here, which is rare, but love that. Linnea's planner, of course. And then this gold flag is from Target. I have no idea what the company is, but I love those stickers. I get a lot of use out of them and I'm gonna be so sad when I run out. Okay, this is a leftover from my Sleeping Beauty kit that I used back in maybe March or February, I can't remember. But I used this for my high five for Friday list just to plug in. And then this is all from the kit, except for this, this is very old. I think I've had that for like three years. And then I used another circle sticker to mark my one year anniversary in my little house. Love that. I took this picture right when I got home from the closing of my house and I plugged that back in just to remember and then I think these are both no the beer is from um, Carolina's crafts I'm not sure where this came from I've had that for a long time but I dug it out for this that was a super fun night and the rest of this is from the kit except for Fox and Pip and Fox and Pip this was my favorite full box in the whole kit it's gorgeous I want that cake it's so pretty but I did like this kit Again, I won't be doing vinyl stickers again. They're just really, really cumbersome for me. But I love how this turned out. It's very pretty and soft. And then the last week of the month was May 22nd through May 28th. And this is another kit from Wild Summer Designs. And I don't remember what it was called, but it was like Cinderella themed. And once I got into this, I was like, that's too girly for me. I gotta like kick that to the curb and like focus more on the florals, which I did. But looking back, it's like not that obvious. So I don't mind the deco a little bit, but I did focus on the florals and the greens and the shades of green and the black and white. 
and the silver. So starting over here, I used some more of those meal labels from Four Daisies Designs. And all the rest of this is from the kit. And then all from the kit. And then I used some washi to mark off these two days. I was originally going to go into work for these two days. And then we already had graduation. I was done mentally with school. So I decided to take those two days off. And I did. So I marked that across those two days. I did have room for this full box. I made sure that I did because I love this fashion girl. And the background with the muted green flowers. Very pretty. So this is all from the kit except for this one, of course. This is from an emoji sheet that I think I got off Amazon. I can't remember. And then this is from Nikki Plus 3. And these I got by accident from GP Sticker Studios, but they match the clip art. So I just used the, these two. And then I did something different with my workouts. I put them down here at the bottom because the washi was so thick, but I didn't want to cut it down. And I needed to use the space. So I like this, but I don't know if I'll do it again. I'm going to have to rethink kind of this plan because I do like to see the washi and the decoration at the bottom. So I don't know. I'm still thinking on that. Okay, so this was my first official day of summer free from school. And this is a fox and pip girl. And I found this quote and it was so cute. And I just needed to hear that that day. And then here's my high five for Friday list. And then this day... Carolina's Crafts for doing some yard work. And then this little sticker, I just got her in the mail a couple weeks ago from Fox and Cactus. And we had some warmer weather here. It'll get worse from this, from here. But I went out for a walk this day and I couldn't even run because I was so hot and it was kind of humid a little bit and I just was like dying. So this day rolled around and I had to use this little sticker because she is too cute. Now, originally she had a pink bikini on, but I just took a Pilot G2 and a like dark green and just colored in her little bikini very carefully because it was so small. But I love how it turned out. Very cute. And then here's another um, Fox and Pip girl. And this little TV is from Carolina's Crafts. This is also Fox and Pip. And this is from Stickeroki. And I think the rest of this is actually from the kit. So this is um, from the kit, but what I did, I never use those weekly trackers. They have like Monday through, they go supposed to go over here, like Monday through sat, uh, Sunday. I never use them, so I cut off the days of the week, put a piece of washi, and then just use this as another checklist. And I love how that turned out, and I'm definitely going to have to try that again, because it gave me more spaces than just like my three heart checklist. So, love that. Okay, so there is the end of my peek inside my planner for May. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you got some ideas of some things to try out and maybe some new shops to try out. And I will see you next time in June so you can see my June spreads. I've already started on one of them and they're going to be really super cute. So I will see you then. Bye!